Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having an awesome morning. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so today is a hamper day, you guys. And I thought, what a better day to record this video. I just always have a piece of hair in my mouth. <laughs> Probably because I have a cat. Anywho, um, yeah, I thought, what a better day to record this video and bring you guys along on the organization day. Because I know so many of you always ask me, like, what do you do? What does that mean? Why do you do that? Blah, blah, blah. We're going to see. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys along. You guys are going to get to watch us work. And, um, yeah. I mean, last time I tried to do that last month when we had the... Um, the hamper day i tried to bring you guys along but honestly you guys it gets so crazy and it's so busy so many things are happening all at once and i just got so overwhelmed that i even forgot i had a phone but this time um i didn't have to go grocery shopping in the morning i didn't have to go buy any produce or anything this morning so i'm just gonna head right there which i think gives me enough time to breathe a little bit and so i'm gonna take you guys with us on this little trip Miss Thang here is up, okay, Saturday morning. There is no sleeping for us. Um, yeah, so we're about to head there. You guys, this Best Health Family Foundation is an amazing organization, you guys. It is a nonprofit organization. I always tell you guys about it because it is just so dear to my heart. I am just so fortunate to be part of something so massive, so amazing that is touching so many lives. So as we go on through the day i'll try and talk to you guys more but if i don't get a chance to i will wrap it up at the end of the video but in the beginning i'm just going to show you guys what we do how we do it and then yeah eight o'clock on a saturday morning <laughs> so sassy yes gabriella let's go clouds are stirring up the sky i was always in denial of what i saw right in front of me and every time I'm so damn lost What I loved and what I lost But let's get lost in love tonight Hear a second voice inside my head It's telling me to stay the night again And hold on to the words we always said We'd be forever, forever Wait another day to clear my thoughts So jump into a love that won't be forgotten Forever Okay, you guys, so right now we're just loading the hampers into the family's vehicles. Um, we are just organizing them. I'll kind of show you guys how we organize the hampers to the best we can. Obviously, this is a new facility that we just got into. So we're still kind of figuring out how to have a system that's working for us with this um, space that we have right now. Because we don't have as many things to use or boxes or anything like that or... Um, shelving units to really organize things but we are very very <laughs> capable people so we make do with what we have so i'm just going to kind of take you guys around to show you how we do it so as you can see here this is all ready to go for one family um we kind of just already arranged things and then as the families come we're able to determine the size of the families um and then we add to it as we need to but for majority everyone gets the same stuff yeah. The bigger families obviously will get more because they have more mouths to feed, but otherwise, this is what it looks like. Yeah, here. She is just confirming families as they come in, making sure that she's checking them off the list. We have a cute little system here that we are still working through, but by God's grace, we will get there. Amen. Um, and this is just the way we're doing things right now, you guys. <laughs> Awesome job, yeah. Okay, so this is the end of what 
was the hamper. Let me show you guys. So you know how we started. If you are watching this video, you've seen how we started. Okay, we started with so much food, you guys. And um, this is what's left. I'm gonna show you. So that is what's left. We helped so many families today. It was all hands on deck. The babies, the adults, every single one of us contributed to make sure we sorted it out you guys and this is what we have left so all of all of this stuff here we're just reorganizing now um you see mom there just working hard <laughs> so we're just organizing all of this stuff here and then this is all going to go into next month's hamper obviously after we get more stuff for next month but this is what's left and you know this facility is really empty right now we don't have too many shelves or anything like that but we are managing with what we have um you know and we're just making do this is our very first time in this new facility because we were originally doing it out of our church um so this is the first one at this facility and so we're just kind of discovering what's working for us obviously we don't have a system in place yet because this is also new but we've had someone behind the desk at the computer who is um taking all the names of the confirmed people and um just making sure that we know you know the family sizes and stuff and stuff like that and then there's also another person who goes outside to the vehicles of the families this is just going to limit um you know the interaction between the volunteers and the guests um and the families so we have someone who goes out to the vehicles all of us are all wearing masks obviously i don't have mine on right now because i'm doing this video but every single one of the volunteers is wearing a mask as well as the guests you know some of them are some of them if they're not it's fine they don't get out of their vehicle we just go up to the window we ask them family of what how many people are in the family and then we come inside the person who's asking the families um, the sizes and stuff like that will come inside confirm with Piaz who was obviously at the computer um, confirm with her to make sure that these families are confirmed and then come back here to the volunteers and let us know okay yeah this is the family of five six seven eight nine 10, 11, however many sizes the families are, and then the volunteers will, will gather everything from back here, package it up for them. We go out to the cars, they open their trunks for us, we put their products in, we say, you know, thank you for coming, have an awesome day, goodbye, and then they go, and then the next vehicle pulls up. So this is a system we have right now. Obviously, it worked well today because we were able to efficiently get the families their produce, their groceries, um, and then we were able to finish in a timely manner. I think all in total today, it took us about only three hours, three hours, and we helped tons of family. I can't even count the numbers right now. Done, you guys. That's a wrap. Until next time, till next month. What did you enjoy today about um, helping with the hamper? Hmm? What did you enjoy about, or what was your favorite part about today? Laughing. Yeah, sitting down. Yeah. Sitting down? And laughing. And laughing? Like, helping prayer. people? Uh -huh. Yes. Precious? Um, helping people to bring food in the car? Yes. Um, helping people and eating? Helping people and eating, okay. Wow, well, those are the little And these helpers. are the big helpers. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, you guys, so that's it, that's the wrap. Now we're all going home, we're done. Thanks for watching, you guys. We're so grateful, thank you guys. Thank you for everyone who made it today. Yay, okay, bye. Hi guys, okay, so we are back home now and I thought I would make this video just to kind of tie in everything that you guys saw today. So I didn't get a chance to um, record as many videos as I wanted to or take as many pictures as I wanted to. It did get really, really, really busy, you guys. And like I had said previously, this is our first time at this new location because we did do it out of the church prior to. So this... Um, this facility is new so the entire system was so new to us and we are lacking so many things right now that we could use to really organize and arrange things the way we want to 
but by God's grace, we will get there, okay? Um, so the reason I wanted to make this video today is because I wanted to answer some questions for people who have been asking about the organization and trying to really understand what what it is um so i'm just gonna answer from my personal perspective nobody asked me to do this nobody like i'm just gonna tell you guys what i think this organization means to me um and how i really see it so best health family foundation like i have said it's a non-profit organization you guys and from what i see is that it is here to help south sudanese families bridge that gap okay so in resources okay um to be able to provide food hampers to be able to provide counseling to be able to provide interpreters like you have every single one of us volunteers speaks a second language sometimes three sometimes four if you're really trying to kill it you know um like we just there's so many people from so many different backgrounds and the reason why this organization is so dear and near to my heart you guys is because no one is going to understand a south sudanese person better than another south sudanese person and the reason i say that is because sometimes you have people who come to this country who don't know how to access the resources that they need right and then they're going and calling all these numbers and asking all these different people for help and it's like if they don't know you or they don't understand your language or they can communicate with you that language barrier is going to cause you know um it's just going to be that, you know, it's going to be a hindrance between you getting the resources that you need and getting um, access to whatever it is that you're looking for out there. So being able, so this, this organization to me is that we are those people, okay? We are those people that are going to be the first people you can call if you are a South Sudanese person looking for something. You know, you can think, hmm, Best Health Family Foundation. And mind you, you can call and you don't know how to speak um, English and somebody will help you. Okay, if you know how to speak Noir, we got somebody who can speak Noir. You know how to speak Arabic, we've got somebody who knows how to speak Arabic. You know how to speak the Manjang, holla at your girl, I got you. Okay, <laughs> there are so many people from so many different backgrounds that can assist you, and I feel like it's not just even about the food hampers. Like the food hampers are amazing because, from my personal. Um, my personal experience, you guys, this has been able to alleviate so much stress in terms of like, I can allocate my finances to other things like my bills, okay? Especially being a single mom, I want to be able to pay all my bills and still put groceries in the fridge. And if I go to Best Health Family Foundation once a month to get some of those groceries, guess what? I'm like, okay, groceries are covered for the next couple weeks here guess what i'm gonna put this money towards a bill of mine that has been sitting there for a while i'm gonna pay off some debt it is actually helping me to get ahead in life and i don't care what anybody says that's exactly what this foundation is here for it's not here to relieve all your stress but if we can relieve one of your stress if Best Health Family Foundation can relieve one stress, is that not something? And the thing is, this organization is still so small and still so new. So imagine if we are touching lives, reaching out and, and touching somebody's life and making a difference, and, and, you know, alleviating one stress. Imagine what we can do years to come, right? And so I don't know, I'm so passionate about it because I feel like this is something that is going to make such a big impact in so many people's lives, you guys, um, you know, and like, like I said, the hampers are one aspect of it. Okay. That is something that we can all look forward to once a month to go there to, you know, get your groceries covered. Um, you know, something that will help you. Like if you are struggling one month, you know, that, we are there once a month, you can count on us. And let's say in between the months, now that we have this amazing facility where we're keeping extra goods there, if you call us, you know, sometimes during the month, even after the hamper has already been given out, and you say, hey, you guys, I'm really struggling, I have an emergency, guess what? We're there, we'd be like, one of us can call, you know, let's say Namisa, she's closer down there, we can call and be like, hey, listen, so-and-so needs to pick up some food, are you able to just run over there and get some stuff together for her and her family? I love that. I love that we can do that. Okay, and that's one aspect, okay? The next one is like, okay, for example, you're going through things in your life. You're going through a stressful moment in your life. I don't know about you guys. I'm a very private person, but I feel like my own people understand me more than somebody from the outside. And this is not to like obviously limit other people's capabilities of what they need to do. But 
I am going to lean into my people. I'm going to call Elder Kira. I'll be like, listen, okay, this is what I'm going through. And she's going to sit there and she's going to be able to understand, not just from like me explaining what I'm currently going through, but also just from someone who comes from the same background. I think that we relate even more. So that's one aspect you can lean into Best Health Family Foundation also. Um, community, okay. I don't know about you guys, but like growing up back home, I miss that community aspect. Having aunties and uncles and cousins and family and like being surrounded by so much love and so many people who are willing to lend a hand i feel like best health family foundation is giving that right like the family foundation you guys is really heavy okay and the reason i say that is because it's not just a foundation it is about family it is about integrating families it is about unity it is about one community one family like there's just so much more to it than um i'm even like i can't even begin to emphasize on how much this foundation is needed at such a time as this you guys um so i wanted to just make this video out of passion and out of excitement and out of love and and just out of complete gratitude that this thing is here at this moment in our lives and it is only going to get bigger you guys so what you saw today was just a glimpse of what is really going on there's a lot more behind closed doors um you know and the mastermind behind all of this you guys let me tell you i'm not gonna get into details of that but let me tell you when you have someone who's so passionate and so fired up and you know has that fear of god inside of them and they just want to do good in this world good is going to happen regardless um and so yeah the mastermind behind this okay the power behind this it is it's just you guys just stay tuned and watch what's going to happen watch where this foundation is going to go it is going to grow bigger and bigger we are going to reach more families we are going to transform more lives um and you know we just got started you guys and today was the first day at the facility it was so exciting upstairs in my room um so basically this is all i wanted to tell you guys today i don't know if i'm missing anything if you guys have any questions and if you're watching up until this point comment below if you have any questions comment below if you have any comments <laughs> just comment below and let me know you're still with me but um i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for um everyone who's been so supportive of this organization um and those of you who have just been like just so kind we get so much amazing feedback from people we do get some you know people who have a little bit to say here and there and that's okay we see you no problem um but you know what at the end of the day i feel like everyone who knows what this organization is about you guys see us we come out with our children sometimes i wake her up at like six o'clock in the morning and we go grocery shopping in the morning like this is not just about doing small things here and there this is this is to create a bigger impact this isn't just about one person this is about community um this is about all of us and caring for one another and i feel like we as south sudanese people we need something like this we need something that brings us together something that is ours we don't need any hands out from anybody you guys we want to be able to create that foundation for ourselves you guys let me tell you something <clears throat> A lot of us are first generation in this country. We don't have a lot behind us, okay? Some of us came into this country or our parents came into this country with absolutely zero education. Some of our families came into this country with nothing, okay? Not even a penny to their name and have started to build something, okay? A lot of us are starting from ground zero, okay? You look around you and there are people who have big mansions, big businesses, are just excelling in life because they have, you know, somebody, okay, their forefathers, okay, the ancestors, whoever, had laid this foundation down for them. And us com coming here, we're laying the foundations. We're the foundation creators, okay? We are creating this foundation for ourselves. So think about it as something bigger, okay? If one person is able to establish something that is going to help the entire community, that is for the entire community. If one person is able to elevate one individual family in this country, that is something for the entire nation to celebrate because this isn't our home, you guys. Those of us who come from a different country, this isn't our home. So for us to make it our home, we have to kind of, you know, fluff up the 
fluff up the foundation so we can have something to lay on top of it so we can start creating and building on top of it do you understand what i'm saying so at the end of the day this is something that if we can look at it as as a community we're able to see it as something that is going to elevate every single one of us this is a foundation that is going to bring more foundations this is going to start some like it may look small to some of you guys but if you can establish something like this if you can establish a foundation that is helping an entire community in one city Who's to say you can't expand it to the next city, the next city, the next city, the city after that, the country, and then outside the country. And if you have, you know, laid down that foundation and you understand the principles of it, you're able to take it to your country and start a foundation there. Oh my goodness, don't get me excited. Anyways, you guys, so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, I didn't want to make this video too long, but already it is too long. Anyways, I want to say thank you to every single one of you, to all of our volunteers, okay, all of us. Thank you to every single one of us. I hope that you are giving yourself a pat on the back, okay, and a round of applause because you guys are troopers. Um, it isn't easy <laughs> to show up every time to do this because it does require a lot of heart and effort and passion and love for our people but we continuously do it because we love you guys so anyways thanks for watching this video i love you all so much um and if you are looking for ways to support best health family foundation link us up on facebook at best health family foundation instagram at best health family foundation and then there's the number on the back of the shirt what is it four seven eight what is it gorilla four zero three uh-huh Four zero three four seven eight eight two one one eight two one one. So if you want to support the foundation, you can call that number or um, message us on Facebook or Instagram. Um, if you want to volunteer, you can also call that number or message us on Facebook or Instagram. If you have any questions, feedback, comments, anything, you can comment below here or you can um, shoot us a message on the Best Health Family Foundation page. This video was just me deciding to make it so if there's something about this you don't like please don't come for the foundation they have nothing to do with me i'm just a wild child anyways love y'all bye